guys, Blast Cow Survival. Today we're going to be talking about something that uh, I get asked a lot quite often and basically is can you carry lot picks on an airplane? And in this video I'm going to talk about if you can or cannot and also I'm going to talk about the tools I carry with me on a most routine basis, you know. So out of the gate you can ask the TSA pretty much anything you want. They have an Instagram account where you can post questions and they'll answer or respond to you on there. And they also have a website where you can, uh, you know, pretty much everything's been asked anyway. You can go on the different menu, the sub menus and find out which one. So anyway, Lockpix is answered here. And I'll post it up on the uh, screen here. Lockpix can be carried on on carry-on bags as well as check bags. Tools that are seven inches or less in length are allowed in carry-on bags. Please check with the local law enforcement regarding traveling with this item. Now I'll answer that in a second. And it also talks about sharp objects. So make sure you're not carrying any kind of sharp lockpick set. But the reason why they talk about the local law enforcement is because some areas, and you know, there's always some guy in the comments that's gonna say, blah 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 blah, they're burglary tools, da da da. That's a very rare case. I'm gonna do an article for on, uh, on BlackScoutsRoll.com here in the near future. And I'm gonna put a map on there showing where lot picks are legal, illegal, blah, 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 in those areas. For the most part, they're legal almost everywhere. You know, the states that you can't carry over a two inch folder or anything like that, you know where you are, those, those places that they, uh, you know, impede on all your uh, rights. Those are the normal places that consider them burglary tools, but usually, it, they only charge you that as an accessory charge whenever you're committing a crime anyway and you've got them on your person so uh to answer that um like i said check out blackscoutsrawl.com here soon i'm gonna have an article in there and just go ahead and check it out if you go to journal uh, blackscoutsrawl.com is a website where we have all our products and things like that but we also have a journal tab and have a lot of articles on there a lot of uh, good things Co uh, cia former operatives um, for the cia has written articles on surveillance detection there, a lot of wilderness survival, lot picking articles and instruction, and you'll get a lot of things like that there. So make sure you check out that journal section of BlackScoutsFarm.com, and I'll put the link below. But uh, I'll put an article up soon discussing the map showing where they're illegal and this and that. So basically, if you fly into that area, then also you got picks on you and they're illegal. That, that, that's what they're referring to. Now, I'm kind of going to go over what I carry for the most time, I always carry lot picks. They come in very handy. I've helped out a lot of people. You know, I've never committed a crime while carrying lot picks. So um, I have uh, my wife's friend uh, recently. We had a hurricane come to the area. She bought a new house, and her generator that was attached to the house, um, they didn't have keys for. She really never used it. But because hurricane power was going out, I went over there and picked the lock, and she was able to use her generator while you know everybody else lost electricity so it's a very good skill to have anyhow the lot picks i like to carry something we sell on our side is the bogotals and these pretty much will get you anywhere they're made of titanium and they're great they're small signature too definitely under seven inches another thing i like to carry is a wafer a jiggler something we sell on our site basically it's like a key you jiggle you can use them for the gas caps for uh your car or desk drawers, things like that. Usually I carry these because they're just simple, small, and I can get most things done. Now, I, I also do sell a new pick set that I carry in my concealment belt, and I always fly with my concealment belt. Basically, if you don't know what that is, we've got videos on it. You can go check it on the website. It is a rigid gun belt with a Cobra buckle. You can get D-ring, non-D-ring, Cerakote option. But we have a front hidden pocket here with a deployment tab that holds a plastic handcuff key. Um, or that's what it's designed for and then uh, uh, in the back here we've got a larger pocket and that's where I keep this new titanium lock pick set so we begin to sell and they're really good really cool always fly with this belt goes through TSA gives me no problems and I always got my gear on me so anyhow guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know your questions or comments below and like I said you can always go to TSA and ask them or look and see if somebody has already asked that question but anyhow guys, thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.